from Union Repair. Today I'd, I'd like to introduce a thermal camera to you and this product is from Shenyi Changxin and before I introduce this product I'd like to introduce this company to you first. This is called Shenyi Changxin and it, it is getting it's now getting very famous in China repair community but it's also getting more and more popular in, in, in like abroad. I'd like to show you some some products from them. This is some two of the most famous uh, hooks from their company. It's getting very very popular now. And also they have some like best best quality stencils and uh, 3D stencils. And you got one piece of this stencil you can use for one whole year without problem. And now they got a new now they got a new product. Is this thermal imager and I have introduced this thermal imager to to the repair industry before but a lot of customers they are they are questioning the the function of this thermal imager because the price is like almost 900 and they are they, they are worrying about the, the the function of this camera so today I'd like to show you a case of the Problem motherboard, and I want to I want to show you why it was nine hundred dollars. <coughs> so this is an iPhone six plus motherboard, and this motherboard is with a electric leakage. So let's check out how it works. <coughs> so now I have connect the motherboard with the power supply so normally if you don't power on the the motherboard you don't have the the current but it has a 50 milliampere current so it means there are something wrong with the motherboard but this is just a 50 milliampere so it's a very like small current normally you you you, you find the hot point by your hand touch or by your by your lips or by rosin or by freeze freeze spray but this is with 50 mil, uh, milliampere so it doesn't work so today I'd like to, sh to to check out with this thermal imager how it works okay now we need to we need to open the software so this is an Chinese interface, but you can change the language to English interface. Okay, so <clears throat> We are in the interface of the software now. Let's put this this motherboard uh, Is the thermal camera Now we have put this uh, this motherboard and the therm thermal camera, but this is with a very very small current. You, you you don't find anything on the software, but there is some very important function here. This is like a picture. It means it means second in Chinese it means second. So it means you can find a problem very fast. So that's why we call it fast troubleshoot thermal imager so let's try to click this okay we have clicked this button now we can see something different okay so now we can see the motherboard that this area this area is getting the temperature is getting higher and higher and this area you can find the temp temperature range here so it's it's like uh, 30 degree to 34 degree it's the the temperature difference is very very small and it's very close to the the environment temperature so you you can't find the hot point by your hand or by your lip or by by whatever it's just the three degree difference you can find it so let's check out if we can find the hot point with this this soft software so 
here there is uh, there's something like here is the hottest point 33 1 degree so we need to find out this 31 uh, 33 degree point okay so we can use this uh, is the temperature range we can change the temperature temperature range okay now it's getting like clear okay you can see there are some there are still some hot hot point point here 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 so let's like smaller let's make the, the range smaller okay here now we have already find this this hottest point it's here is uh, 33 degree and this is like 33 33 degree so this is the hot, hottest point so now we have already find out the the, the problematic point and that's why we call it fast troubleshoot thermal camera because just with simple one click you find out the the, the hottest point and you can use the space button to change the to change the infrared light with the with the visual light so now you can see clear this this can compare I, how to pronounce it this this small ic has the problem so you can very fast find the problem and this is just connect to the power supply and we didn't even turn on the the, the, the power so now let's try to now let's try to uh, turn on the motherboard to check what what it will happen <clears throat> okay now the, the motherboard is power on so you can see this the CPU is getting getting like it this is CPU yeah. mm -hmm. this, this is the CPU so you can see the whole motherboard is like like getting getting hot and let's try to click this button again okay so just now we find out the we just find out the the problem problem point here the temperature the, the it's 47 degree and this is 60 degree so if you use the normal way to find out the the problem point you, you can't you just can't do it because it's it's the, the the temperature is lower than this area but this is the problem point so if you use your hand your hand hand touch or lip touch you you just can't find the point now let's turn off the turn off the uh, the power to check out what will happen again So we can see here, because I have turned off the power, so the, the temperature is getting lower and lower and lower. So let's wait it still to the environment temperature. Okay, let's just wait for the temperature getting lower. Uh, I have just sent one to Louis Rossman for a review, but 
I didn't explain to him clearly how to use this this thermal camera because this they translate everything but they didn't translate this this the most important key here so he didn't find he didn't realize how good this thermal thermal camera is so i want to make a uh this video with a case with a troubleshoot case to to explain better with our thermal camera So let's uh, let's connect to the power supply again to double check. Okay, you can see clearly this point. This point is the hot point with the the, the problematic point. It seems the temperature is a little bit higher than than just now because we have power on the the motherboard, so the the temperature is is not not cool enough. So you can see very clear that this is the 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 problem point here. Okay, now I think that's all for today to introduce this troubleshoot case. Again, if you want to, if you are interested in this product you can buy from Union Repair website. You can search this search bar thermal imager and you will find this product. And and at last I want to see this thermal imager might be the future for the for the repair industry because because time is money that if you use this thermal imager it will save you a lot of money to find out a problem. Just several minutes you'll find the problem and you save you save time and you save money okay thank you for watching for today's video and and i wish you all a happy new year okay bye